Let's realize now deeply and purely and simply in just these few minutes what conscious oneness with God actually means and actually is. Conscious oneness with God means to be consciously at one with God. Consciously at one as God, which means being consciously incorporeal. Let's hear that. Conscious oneness with God means to be consciously incorporeal rather than consciously corporeal, which is the human state, the material state of consciousness. Conscious oneness with God means being consciously incorporeal. Only as your consciousness is being incorporeal are you consciously one with God, or as God, or as God is. You're being as God is when, and only when, you are being consciously incorporeal. In other words, it's only when... This hour, this moment, you're not thinking in terms of matter. Not thinking in terms of him, her, it, condition. When you're not thinking conceptually, objectively. When your belief is attached to nothing and is only in truth. When you want not a single thing from God because... You're living the realization that you are the very and infinite presence itself, being the fully manifest self it is, as what you are. That self being one, omnipresent, always whole, perfect, and eternal. When you realize that as spiritual being, you never have anything to demonstrate because you are and have omnipresence. Therefore, you already are and eternally are and have the whole of God at your fingertips and at every step, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. And that omnipresence is already and always manifest, demonstrated, tangible and visible as itself. There is only itself. Therefore, there is only the one manifestation, the one demonstration, the one tangibility and visibility. And it's already done. Omnipresence is already done. The kingdom is already done. And so it's when you're being that oneness that you see it. It becomes visible to you as you're being it. As you rise into the being of it, the being of incorporeal consciousness. Not try to get incorporeal consciousness to come down to your level or my level. Not trying to get a higher consciousness to come down to this material sense of consciousness and heal it. Not trying to get incorporeal consciousness to come down to corporeal consciousness and make it whole and perfect, visible, tangible, demonstrated. It can't. There is no God or spirit or truth in the corporeal consciousness. And yet the miracle of truth is that as soon as you and I lift into incorporeal consciousness, there it all is as free as the air, as we heard. The whole of the kingdom is as free as the air when we be it, rather than try to get it, which is just stealing it or attempting to steal it. We can't actually steal it because it's completely unavailable, completely out of reach if we're still trying to get God or spirit or truth to come along and heal the corporeal sense. We can't. But as we realize what we've heard, that all is one, all is actually incorporeal, that incorporeality doesn't give or withhold, it's already omnipresent right here as the whole of itself as you and as the whole of itself at and as every point of itself infinitely, simultaneously, 
Therefore, once you and I rise into that awareness and then rest, rest, and let, rest and bathe in that which already is. Now, detached from the way it appears to be called this world, realizing the truth of what appears as this world, and that is the whole of God is actually the whole of this world, because there is nothing else. And then rest in that truth and let the images adjust. Let the images heal or pacify or harmonize or become prosperous and free as, now that we're detached and free from the way the appearance seems to be, our consciousness is able to be illumined, to be filled with truth, And that illumined consciousness now reveals the truth of all the imagery. And that is life and harmony and peace and abundance and freedom of being. And so, conscious oneness with God is to be consciously incorporeal. There's the secret. There's the secret of all harmony, all the miracles of life and abundance and multiplication of good, of peace in the world, peace in the body, peace in the family, peace in the neighborhood. The miracle of union between people, union between governments, union in the world. The miracle of life eternal, The miracle that lifts individual experience out of the parenthesis of the karmic experience into literal and tangible and conscious eternity. The miracle that lifts the I away from the sense of I so that I itself lives individually as the you that you are, the I that I am the Joel that Joel is, the Jesus that Jesus is, for eternity. Ever rising, ever expanding in consciousness, yes. Ever shedding its old forms, yes. But always the same individual I that you are, I that I am, I that Jesus is, I that Buddha is, I that Joel is, and so on. Be consciously one with God by being consciously incorporeal. Well, thank you, my friends. This has been the most extraordinary series of classes with you. And the group most certainly is lifting beyond and past all previous corporeal consciousness. A miracle is being witnessed, truly. And as we move now into the healing of the body classes, I expect, well, miracles abound, and I expect them to be perfectly visible and tangible for all of us who are hearing this message and now making extra effort and being extra dedicated to oneness with God, oneness as God. Incorporeality is the truth of God, therefore the truth of all being. Thank you, thank you. I hope you enjoy this spiritual audio. Like, Share and subscribe for more.